Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time, and on today's episode of Company Spotlight, we're going over the very famous company of GANs. The GANs puzzle company originates from a Chinese cuber, a very old one in fact, who created the first Chinese 3x3 speed solving record. His name was Jiang Gan Young. He also was the co-founder of another famous Q brand known as Alpha 5 or Type A. But now with his involvement in the GANs company, they have made some very revolutionary and very good speed cubes. The GANs company invented the revolutionary octopus core, which they implemented in all of their 3x3s. These cores had to be tensioned using tensioning tools as seen now, and were totally different from the traditional 3x3 core. The screws would be replaced with nuts instead, and the spring sits on top of the centerpiece, but kind of inside of it, covered by the center cap. The first puzzle that GANs issued using this mechanism was the GANs 3v1. This cube was the first to utilize the GANs octopus core, which gave the cube an overall more flexy and loose feeling. This puzzle wasn't the biggest success in the GANs lineup, but then the V2 came out. This cube was extremely similar to the V1, barely any changes were made, but it actually gained more popularity. It still utilized the octopus core, and let's take a look at this puzzle. The GANs 3 V2 is an overall good puzzle. It had a very light and clicky turning style. It overall performed pretty nicely, and it was Crazy Bad Cuber's main for a little while. Corner cutting on this puzzle is very, very nice. It's just a little bit under 45 degrees, but this cube did have some problems, such as popping, which happened a lot. But the next puzzle that Gans produced was the 357. This was probably one of the best cubes on the market then, and still is to this day. This cube was the main of many people, including Felix Zemdegs, myself, and a bunch of others. Like stated before, this puzzle had absolutely great performance. Still utilizing the octopus core, this puzzle was amazing. It had a nice, buttery, and scratchy feel that I really enjoyed, and it doesn't stop there. The corner cutting on this puzzle was amazing. It could do over 45 degrees and over a full piece of reverse, which was incredible. But... This cube did come with its own batch of flaws. Some say that this puzzle felt very unstable, which I can agree with. As GANs went through their mechanisms and found that their cubes were very wobbly and unstable, they used a steel or metal core. This puzzle that they produced next was the GANs 356. 56 meaning 56 millimeters. This puzzle is very, very nice. It is very, very smooth and Overall, very different from other GANs puzzles. This puzzle took many spots as people's main, so let's take a look at it. The GANs 356 was a very smooth and awesome cube. It is overall very, very good. All the performance aspects are great about it, even the corner cutting. Corner cutting on this puzzle was very, very nice. 45s easily, basically wherever you put it, it would corner cut through it, but it isn't perfect as always. This cube had very strange catches on the centerpieces when the sharp corners would catch on the centerpieces. Luckily, GANs released some center caps that made this puzzle catch a lot less. So overall, I really enjoyed the GANs Puzzle Company. For the first reason is that they are very innovative. I've never seen a company invent so many new things, so many new designs, so many new mechanisms, and overall, they just have a great line of cubes going for them. I just wish that they would expand to 2x2s, 4x4s, and other WCA puzzles because I think they would make a lot of money and a lot of speed cubers happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this company spotlight on GANs. Comment what company you want to see next. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.